In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva to create presentations that you can then record for your online courses. And there are two main ways I'm going to show you. One is to create a presentation from scratch in Canva. They have a lot of tutorials on that, so I'll just show you really quickly. And the other is to use one of our brandable presentations or other presentations you have in PowerPoint, import those, do some edits, and take advantage of more of the features in Canva that you don't have in PowerPoint. But that includes getting one of the smart art images into Canva so that you can edit them there also because we do use a lot of smart art. So here I am on the home page. And to create one from scratch presentation, just click on presentation. It's usually there right in the beginning or up in the upper right in create a design. You'll also see a lot of different options. So you can just click on presentation and it'll open up a blank one. And then you can choose from some of their existing templates. If you hover over any of them, it'll show you how many different examples or, or templates they have in there. So I'm going to click on the competitive analysis one and you'll see there are 16 pages. I can just apply one and pick and choose different ones I want by clicking on the plus and then adding it. Or I can go to the top here and apply all 16 pages. And then I have the full presentation of templates here and I can just pick and choose and edit anything and copy slides, whatever you would like to do. And at the bottom here, there's also a notes section so you can open that up and add notes as you go your speaker notes when you're all done of course name it but then you can go into present on the top right and you have some different options for presenting so if, for instance if you're doing a live stream and, or a webinar and sharing your screen you can just present in full screen you have presenter view where your uh, notes will show you can record your videos the same time and also do an autoplay. So for recording your videos, obviously you click on the present and record, or you can do something like a screen capture software like I'm using here, snag it, and just share your screen and talk through your presentation. So that's to create something from scratch. Now say I want to actually create a brand new presentation that's from a PowerPoint one. I'd go back to the home page again, this time I'm going to go into projects so I can see all my recent projects and I'll go over to my files in Windows Explorer and go down and find a slideshow from a course. So in this case, I'm using one from our course on social selling and those are always going to be in your instructor materials in the slideshow section. So I'm using a demo one, not the original. Go back and find that. And I'm going to just take that and drag and drop it into my dashboard. And then it will show up in the recent projects. But I'm also going to add one more presentation in here. And that's the one with the smart art graphics. So I'm going to go back to that file folder again. And in social selling, which is my demo one, in the student materials, in the graphics folder, there's a file called graphics underscore shapes. And that takes our smart art graphics and breaks them up so that they're editable as individual shapes. So if you take that and put it into Canva, you'll then also be able to edit those. So let me go back and get the demo file so that we're not using the original. And just find that bottom the shapes and I'll drag that in also so that I have all the presentations that I want to use for this particular one the ones from PowerPoint so I open that up got both of them in here now I'm going to go into the main presentation and you can see it looks the same everything's there but you won't have the smart art those things will be blank but you can go through and make any edits you want, but you can also apply templates here as well. And it won't apply any of the individual graphics, those you'll want to find separately, but you'll be able to go through and find something, say, with a nice background that you like. So stick to something simple. Uh, let's try this Let's Learn. And you can try different ones. 
You can apply individual pages, of course, just like with the other presentation if you add a new page, or you can go down to the bottom and apply the template style. So I'm going to apply it. It'll apply it first to the first page. It's really just a simple background in this case, and the fonts change. And I can also apply to all pages. It says on the bottom, apply style to all pages. And that's now added it everywhere. It's really just added the fonts and colored background. So if you want to use any of the other pages in there, you can, like before, um, hover over in between any page, click on Add Page. It'll be blank, but then I can go add a relevant page and maybe edit that a bit. So I might go back and find the text from Social Selling. I like that text. And rather than retyping it, I'll just go in and put it into the title here. And then I have it, I can make it smaller and adjust it any way I need to. So that's one way to add some styles. Now to add those smart art graphics, what I'm going to do is first find the first blank page, which is over here. So you can just scroll again through the bottom of the presentation and you'll see that there are some blank pages. That's where there's smart art. And this one actually says, here is your roadmap through the course, so you know what goes there. And in this case, I want to add a new page instead of having and starting again from scratch with a smart art or with a, my own graphic. And I'm going to go into projects to find the slide that I want. I found that in the projects. You'll see all the different designs. And I found the one where we uploaded those shapes graphics and click on the one that fits in there. And you'll see there's my graphic. I may want to change the colors, but before I go doing that, I want to add all my different smart art so that I'll be able to change all the colors at once. So I no longer need this particular slide, I, but I do want to copy any notes from there. So don't be so quick to delete those because there are speaker notes that go with all of those. So I'm going to take those speaker notes, and you could do this at the end if you want, copy them. So Control-C, go back to this, which is the new one, and just paste those in. So now I've replaced the smart art without having to recreate it. And if you do want to recreate it, great. That's one of the strengths of Canva that you can do new things. Then I can go and delete this other one and go through for all the smart art. So wherever you see a blank page, you might want to check first the notes to make sure it matches up, then go back to your projects. And you can, in this case, again, you'd want to add a page first, so you make sure you don't lose the notes. And I'm going to find the right one, which is here. And then I'm going to go over again to the notes and copy them over. So I'm going to control C and go back and do that. So it's a little bit more time consuming than what you might do in PowerPoint, but you'll then have the features of Canva. So go through and do that for all your smart art. I'll do one more just to show you. This one has to do with direct sales. So just see if I can make that even quicker. I'll try something out for you. And I'm going to go back to the projects again and show you one other thing you can do. So I'm going to click on the one I want to add, and it's put it in there. And in this case, it has kept the notes. So if you don't want to do that extra step of making sure you have the right notes in there, then you can do that right away if you're sure. But be careful with that, because in some cases there might be more than one page with the same graphic. So here I've got three different pages, 37, 38, there are nine in the social selling course that have, that look like they might be different graphics, but they all have speaking notes related to the same. So make sure you check that. So I'm going to go in and just add a page instead so I don't lose the graphic and look at my projects again, and I'll see that it looks like it is this one, because I missed one. 
engaged stream and audience growth web traffic yes because the speaker notes are going to be for the first one engagement and then all the different other ones in here audience growth web traffic so i've got one i could just copy those notes and put them into the first one then duplicate that page the duplicate the page on the upper right is duplicate page and then take the notes from the second one and copy those in you don't need the page numbers i'm just doing this quickly and then the last one i'm going to need as well so i'll copy the graphic again and then go in and copy those notes so now i have the three pages that all use the same graphic but they all have different notes because it's engagement audience growth web traffic then i can go delete these other ones that we don't need anymore but i don't like the colors so you can go manually and change them just by clicking on the shape and then the color and then picking a color for the background and i might just leave it like that so they're all different or i can go in and change when i change that color like this one i changed to dark blue on the bottom i could change all those oranges to dark blue or leave that because i want to keep them all the same here and go in and say i want to change the orange on all slides to something completely different so it might be something in my theme colors so maybe i'm going to change it to this brown and it's changed it there but i want to change it everywhere so i'll click change all and then everywhere where there's orange it's going to change it to that brown and let's go back to some of those other slides so you'll see in here it changed it as well and over in the beginning it did not change it so let's try that in here okay so in this case it's because they've all these things have been grouped it's a fiddly thing you'll find with importing any software that's different into another software so here it looks like as I see this dotted line, these things have been grouped. So if you go into these three dots and go down, you'll see ungroup. And then that one is going to be different. But all of these have been grouped, the text and the image. So you'd have to ungroup them to change the colors. Obviously locks it. So if I change now, um, let's ungroup some of these others as well. Ungroup 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 this is still quicker than redoing any of the graphics now if i go and change that orange um, box if i can highlight it there it's got all these oranges in here i'm going to change it to that brown uh, so it's a gradient that's why it didn't change it the same way if i want to make them say i want to make them all brown or maybe some different gradients then i can change all oranges to brown but it's going to have to change it everywhere so you know it depends on what it started out at so here's a blue let's see if we can change that if that's also gradients you'll have to try to highlight it uh, you may have to change it a little so here there are gradients and i might want to change the blue to i don't know something else like a purple and then maybe this one teal just so that you can see the differences and change them all so they'll change everywhere so play with that a little bit if you have solid colors it's going to work better but you'll see it'll change it in other places too so say i just want to change that i don't want to change the other brown so I'm just going to change the one, and maybe make it orange. So that is how you would change things in PowerPoint. Again, you want to bring in those smart art graphics, but you may also want to just put, create something entirely new. So here we've got um, your top metrics. You can always go back to your template and look for one of the layouts that makes sense. So you might have, 
this, add it as a new page. See if it makes sense. You can change the wording, your top metrics. Maybe you just want the pie chart with no numbers in it. This is set up to already have numbers, so if you do have a graph, you can always use a template to create that graph. Or you can just use it to look like an element. So you could replace that entirely, just delete it, go into elements, and find, say, pie chart. Right? That'll give you <laughs> some images, but also uh, other things you can do. So say I just want to add this so that it's a cool image. And then it's there, and then more engaging. And then I could take some of the text from in here and move it and go, go crazy with it, but try not to spend a ton of time. That's why we give you these presentations already set up so that you can use them mostly as is, but add a little bit of your own colors, your own styles, your own fonts, and a few elements here and there to jazz it up a bit. And also make sure you take a look at the different tutorials on Canva because they'll have a lot of tips and design tips to help you out. And once you get comfortable and you have a template you like, you can keep reusing that. Hope that was helpful. Go have some fun with Canva now.